Hi, I'm Chris. I'm here today with Steve Jennings. He's Vice President, Brooks Brothers Trailers, and we're going to talk about this electric puller. Uh, Steve, uh, thanks for joining us today. Yes. You give us just a few details about this puller and some of its specifications and how it could help some people out. Absolutely. So this is an 8,000 pound uh, dedicated underground puller. We've taken the same great technology that we use in our standard UP8000 and simply just put a uh, in volts battery pack on this unit. So different than what some of the competitors do and some of the other machines offer, we've just simply taken a off the shelf, uh, fully enclosed battery pack system and incorporate our, incorporated our standard hydraulic system right on the back end of it. Okay. Yeah, so up until now, most of our, well, all of our pullers, with the exception of a few, have been diesel powered. That's right. Or gas powered, but yep. primarily diesel. Will this unit provide the same amount of pulling strength as our diesel units? Absolutely, and it's instantaneous torque too. There's no delay, there's no buildup. Just like you're seeing in all the electric vehicles, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a reliable product. What pulling strength is this one rated at? This one's rated at 8,000 uh, 8, pounds with a 500 pound safety factor built in. So this battery pack that's sitting on the machine is equal to a 50 horsepower diesel engine as far as its output and torque goes. Okay. This setting here as we see it today, is this a standard unit or are there any options on this machine that we might want to point out? Uh, besides the uh, electric battery pack, uh, system. This unit is equipped with the underground rollers and the wireless remote control, which okay. are accessory items. They're non-standard. And then it is the stand beside package. So we uh, obviously offer, which is standard, our elevated operators platform with the safety screen and, and the ergonomic seat. But sometimes we get customers that request to just have a stand beside control system and then use the wireless remote when okay. they need to. Yeah, I noted this is a different control panel than our diesel units. Right. So this is part, this is tied into that battery system. That's right. Yeah, Involts provides the LCD screen that gives you all the readouts, gives you uh, all the troubleshooting things built right into this LCD okay. clear screen. And we've got a, a manual, a remote switch here. So if they have the optional remote, you can can you run boom controls and all from the remote also, or is it strictly uh, the pulling pay in and pay out functions? Yeah, the, the remote currently, yeah. So your manual is gonna be all your setup. So that's gonna be your jack and your boom controls and, and getting the puller ready to pull essentially. And then when you're ready to operate the winch on the puller, you could switch to the remote or you can, in manual, you'll just use uh, the joystick control here. But when you switch to remote, and we can get out the remote and show you, but you could uh, you could do the pay in and the pay out function. You could monitor your line speed and adjust that. You have a, an e stop, and you have your full readout of all your tensiometer settings as, settings as well. So everything that you need okay. to know while you're operating the puller is is right there on that remote. Okay. Again, and, uh, about as simple controls as we could get. Mm -hmm. So Steve, once you power this unit on, is there a certain warm up cycle? or is this unit ready to, ready to pull just as soon as you turn the key? Well, we can go ahead and, and power this unit okay. on and see what it does. So when you flip the, uh, the key to the on position, you'll hear the fan ramp up on the unit. Okay. And that's standard, just a cooling fan for the battery pack. You'll see the LCD screen light up. Right now you can see it's running at Z zero RPM. It's got your battery output where it's, where it's sitting on charge. And so you're gonna get the best performance when you throttle the unit up, just like a diesel engine. Mm -hmm. And that's all just the, the push of a button here. We've got our speed speed up and speed down. So we'll speed the unit up to about 2,000 RPMs. And you'll hear the unit rev up. So I would imagine if you're if you're on a live pull and you don't have this set high enough, you're, it's going to bog down. You're, right. you're going to know it. Right, right, right. So you, you just have to adjust and play with the setting that's right. depending yep. on how much tension that's you're pulling. That's correct. Okay. Yep. yep. And once you're up to that point, you could go ahead and run your jacks, your boom, and all the setup controls. We'll run through that real quick. And this is all going to be identical to the standard UP8000. Yeah, so three hydraulic jacks, uh, two at the pulling side of the unit, and one at the tongue. Got a little bungee on here just to, for transport. I'll take that off. Uh, so yeah, maybe, maybe describe some of the functionality of the boom, Steve, because I know a lot of guys like to get, you know, it's good to reach out over the right. holes and the pits. Yeah, so the big thing on this is it's fully self-supporting. So there is no stabilizer jack required. We can pull a full 8,000 pounds 
with a 500 pound safety factor with no, with no stabilization required on this boom. So fully adjustable, you can lower it, you can raise so, it. Okay, so this 8,000 pound puller, it's, it's rated all the way through the system. That's correct. So it, it, this boom at any position, you get the same 8,000 pound That's right. pulling strength. Okay. That's right. And then we've got about 20 inches of extension on the jib itself. Yeah, coming out here pretty, pretty far, 20 inches or so. All of our booms are equipped with the receiver to attach the optional manhole jib attachment. Okay. So this customer did not feel the need to, you know, they may not be pulling a lot of manhole work, but all of our units are equipped with that option to where if at a later date they wanted to, uh, to, to get the manhole jib, it's a plug and play option, um, which you can see some of our other videos to, to see how that manhole jib works. Yeah, in this video, I'll, I'll put a couple pictures of that yeah. in there. And this is also a swivel, a That's swivel right. head. Yep. How, do, yep. how does yeah, that so, function? This is a swivel head, 30 degrees in both directions. If you're still trying to get centered completely over the duck, just a spring-loaded pin, just and swivel it in either direction, and it locks. Locks in, okay. Take it back to wherever. Yep, release the pin, Okay. It locks in. We also have, uh, so these are dual 10-inch rollers, and then we have a removable pin here at the top for, uh, for pulling up your makeup, your makeup conductor, once you've pulled your conductor all the way through. Um, you can just remove this pin, pull it out, and you've got plenty of room to, to pull bundled con conductor um, through the rollers and up all the way up to the machine if you need, need to. Okay, yeah, so from the, from the hole, they could get another 15 to 20 feet. That's right. Possibly make up. Yep. Okay. In our industry, there's been a big movement towards the electric-powered equipment and, you know, just kind of the Brooks Brothers way. We try to make it as simple as possible without redesigning a machine from ground up. The puller works, had a lot of success with it over the years, so we try to change as minimal as possible, and that's what we did here, is just put on a dedicated battery pack off the shelf from a, a really reliable partner of ours, and then piggyback the rest of our hydraulic system right onto that. Everything else stays the same. Okay, that's, that's, that's excellent. Yeah, I suppose there's some customers that might always want a diesel, but others want an electric, or maybe they have requirements. And yeah, that's right. They yep. have some initiatives where they, they need the electric, so it's, it's really great we can provide both. That's right. Well, Steve, I know that our pullers are, are getting into more and more areas of the country, and we've had some really good feedback from Brooks Brothers customers, so I suspect if uh, anybody's watching this and maybe they would want a field demo or have one of our teams come out, maybe on a live pull or on a demonstration, mm -hmm. that's something we can do, is that right? Absolutely, we have a great group of field representatives spread coast to coast uh, that are eagerly waiting for opportunities for, uh, to serve our customers. They're busy all the time, but we'd love to get, get anybody on the schedule. We've always got demo equipment available, whether you're looking for this particular unit or a track machine or something even completely different. Um, We've got, we've got a good group of people out there that can get out in the field and get dirty with you that have over 100 years of combined experience okay. doing this stuff. So okay. they know what they're talking about. That's, that's great, because I'm sure there's guys out there kind of like me, they don't know a lot about pulling yet, but mm -hmm. they know they need some equipment. Yeah. Well, the interesting and, uh, thing about, about this industry is that, you know, whether you're pulling in California or Florida, everybody does something in a, a little bit different way. A little bit different. And, um, you know, yeah. we're all trying to uh, pull conductor through a conduit but there's a lot of different ways to do that and that we find that you know when we're able to share our experiences from all over all over the country pulling wire it it really helps our customers to, to see things from a different angle and and helps helps us develop the machines better as well so right. uh, i think that's part of the reason we've had a lot of success with this stuff all right. well, sounds good well guys if you need further information uh, contact us at brooks brothers 866-462-7665 and Ask for Steve Jennings. I'm sure he'd be happy to help you, and maybe we'll see you out in the field soon. Thanks, Chris.